The man who said I'd rather be lucky than good saw deeply into life. Oh my God. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> We're gonna get lost in here. Oh, look at you. Good to see you. Yeah, it looks like you're doing all right for yourself, aren't you? I got married. Very nice. Family's got nothing but money. He saw me across the room and he honed in on me like a guided missile. <laughs> Chris, there you are. Just say your phone number, please. We never seem to find peace. You know it's been over a week since we made love. Oh, Chloe and Bea. You're going to do very well for yourself. Unless you blow it. And how am I going to blow it? By making a pass at me. So you are aware of your effect on men? I think I'd be something very special. And are you? Well, no one's ever asked for their money back. I don't think this was a good idea. You shouldn't have followed me here. Do you feel guilty? Do you? Are you having an affair? Of course I'm not. Don't be silly. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't see you. I mean it. I don't know what I'm doing with you. You're never gonna leave, Chloe. Maybe I will. Stop playing games with me. Keep your voice down. I don't fool myself that I haven't gotten used to a certain kind of living. Am I supposed to give it all up? Do you miss me? Are you mad calling me here? If you don't have the nerve to do it, I'll do it. So you're threatening me? If I don't do what you say, you're gonna go to my wife. Hello? Who keeps calling? You have to protect me. My family, my marriage is at stake. You lied to me. You're a liar! You can learn to push the guilt under the rug and go on. Otherwise, it overwhelms you.